Hello, my name is Rick Wilfert with the Harkin Tech Team. Today we're here to do a bat car installation using slug mount track on a Beneteau First 40. So um, I'm Chris Lang, I'm the owner and co-owner of uh, Beneteau First 40 Audacity in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And um, we are sitting on board the boat today uh, doing a Harkin bat car installation. Uh, I am his brother, our co-owner, Michael Lang. Uh, we've had the boat now for one season, one summer. Um, we found uh, found the boat over in England and had it shipped over. So we decided to go with the Harkin back car system um, for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, the ease of uh, easy reefing and making those gear changes you know, quickly and more effortlessly with the crew um, is something that we wanted to kind of go for and also besides racing um, Michael and I do a lot of double-handed sailing throughout the rest of the summer and it's very easy to just take the sail down and have it you know neatly fold up um, on the boom versus just falling all over, all over the deck so there was uh, there was one event last year during the hook race um, we were hitting 30 35s and we wanted to take the main down and so spun the boat into the wind and it took three guys and girls pulling down on the main just to get it down so just another reason to add that parking back car system. All right, today we're going to take a quick look at the tools that are going to be needed for we are doing a system A bat car installation. Um, we have a hacksaw for the cutting of the foils, um, file to do just a little filing, make sure there's no burrs on any of the foils, uh, a couple of different size drill bits. The sizes are all listed, going to be listed in your manual. Uh, Phillips screwdriver, putty knife, crescent wrench, Allen wrenches, um, an electric screwdriver, and a tape measure. Should be about all you would need. Um, any other things you might need are all going to be listed right inside your manual. All right, so what we have going on here um, is we are drilling the two holes for our end stop for the very top foil or the top length of track. Okay, so we have our two holes for our trim cap. Ready to go on. This will be the stopper to prevent the cars from being able to get off the very top end of the track. Yeah, okay. All right. If you have those two longer ones, I'll... Okay. Perfect. Alright, so we're just finishing up section number four. This will be our fifth section that we're then uh, continuing to put the screws into the slugs and push up as we go.
see two inches is our cut length. Pretty good, good catch. I need, I'm gonna need one. Perfect. Walk those ones down pretty good. Did you get them good and tight? Those two? Because they'll see a lot of torque. Yep. Okay. And then you guys are, this just comes off and hangs here. And you just load your cars in. In, in the correct order, you know, make sure you yeah. get your cars <laughs> in the right yep. spots. Sure. So the last step in the process, basically uh, you're going to be loading the cars onto the, ma onto the mast track. You're going to be starting with the headboard car. And then, you know, each installation is going to be a little different depending on whether it's intermediate cars or full like batten cars, but then you just load the cars onto the mast in the correct order. Attach the sail to the cars. And you're ready to hoist and go sailing. So installing the, the Harken back car system I thought was uh, much easier than I had anticipated. Um, the thing I like most about it is there's really no holes that need to be drilled in the mast uh, to you know make a chance for water to get down inside and leak and fill up the bilge and all, all that stuff. So really it's just a very simple install. So preparing the main was very easy. Brought it up to our local sale shop, uh, showed them the Harken back car uh, manual, um, read it over with them and all we had to do is tell them where to place the, the grommets for each individual car and very simple with the sail loft. One of the things that I thought was kind of nice about this system versus some other ones is um, just the low profile of the track. There's not a whole lot of extra stuff on the mass. It's just a nice kind of, you know, compact system. So it's very nice. So another ben benefit of the, the new system is uh, we'd be able to reef as we're going downwind. Uh, avoiding the whole issue of spinning the boat into the wind, you know, avoiding the waves, rocking back and forth. Uh, just release the halyard, pull on the reef lines, and it'll come down as you're going downwind. Yeah, we could just make the gear change as we're going underway, and it would be a lot quicker and safer. Mm -hmm. So there's not that 3.30 call in the morning for all hands and <laughs> <laughs> in the dark when it's blowing 35, and the sail doesn't want to come down because it's jammed with the pull rope and everything. So yeah, nice and simple, easy. Uh, thanks for watching our video. Once again, if you have any other questions at all, feel free to give us a call. That's what we're here for. Thank you.